Most photographers start a business and think clients will just be beating down their doors. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. It takes a lot of strategy and smart business decisions. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Hey, boudoir photographers. Are you ready to be totally booked out with high paying clients? I'm Tracy Lynn, and I went from side hustle photographer to running a million dollar boudoir photography business, working just 30 hours a month. That's right, just 30 hours a month. On this podcast, I tell you how I did it and how you can too. Hey there, and welcome back. I want you to know that I am recording this very, very early on a Wednesday morning, the day before Thanksgiving. This comes out tomorrow, Thanksgiving, so this is very, very last minute, but I have been working so hard on my Black Friday 2023, so I want you to know that if you are listening or watching this on YouTube, I understand that I do not look like I normally do. I got out of bed threw on some lashes and put on a little bit of lip gloss and here we are. Sorry about that, but it's just how it is and I'm just trying to get through this last minute Black Friday week. Anyway, as photographers, especially when we're just starting out, it's hard to know exactly how to run your new business. First of all, we're creatives. We're not business owners. How would we know how to run a business? I mean, really, we just got here for the art, right? And second of all, most of us haven't been business owners before. We picked up a camera to photograph our family or our dogs or just for fun, not to start an actual business. We just accidentally ended up with a business. So of course, there are so many things like pricing, marketing, business strategies, and they're all out there ready for you. But in general, it's just hard to know where to start, especially when you're earlier in earlier in business. Most of the time, especially if you're anything like me, you just want to go ahead, try something, start your photography career, start photographing really amazing clients and just let it happen, you know, but taken from me, that's not how it works. I learned this the hard way. There's a lot that goes into building a profitable photography business. And I want to encourage you to reframe your mindset around your business It took me a long time, but I learned to love my business so much so that I now help other photographers build their own businesses successfully. Back in 2018, I was having a conversation with Melissa Guionis and I was hanging out with her in her pool. I was there for a private workshop with Jerry Guionis, my very favorite photographer of all times. And if you haven't heard of him, you definitely need to check out his work and attend one of his five-day workshops. They're life changers. Anyway, I told her how much I love the business side and how the art just doesn't come naturally to me. And she was like, you're a business owner in photography, not just a photographer in business. And that's when it really clicked. And I really think that my business mindset changed. I was already taking my photography business very seriously at that point. But that's when I realized that I wanted to help other photographers grow successful businesses as well. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Four key strategies to build a profitable photography business. So let's dive in. The first choice you need to make to build a profitable boudoir photography business is knowing exactly how much time you have to actually work in your business. A lot of photographers tell me they want and they need more clients. But in the next breath, they tell me that they want to be more consistently booked out all year with no busy season, just a dependable and consistent schedule. The thing is, you can be busy and have consistency so that you never have to worry about your schedule or having money coming in. But you have to be really strategic about the way that you plan your days, your months, and even your year. How many hours do you have to work each week? So let's say it's 20 hours a week. With four weeks per month, that means that you're working 80 hours. Let's remove a third of those hours for business and marketing tasks so you have about 56 hours left for clients. Most photographers spend eight hours on each client, so with 56 working hours, that means that you have time for seven clients every month. So the way to create more consistent business and schedule is to open up your schedule for those seven clients. When those seven sessions book out, that's it. The next clients, they have to wait till the next month to get in. What this is gonna do is number one, create really good clients who respect you and your boundaries. Number two, it's gonna put a demand on your business and that's gonna help you book out even more. And that's how you create more consistency in your business and help you have a life that doesn't revolve around your business. The second choice that you need to make to build a profitable boudoir photography business is know what you need to make per session. 
a lot of photographers have zero strategy with their pricing. Instead, what they're doing is building their pricing based on what everyone else, local to them, what they're doing. But the thing you need to remember is every photographer has a different lifestyle, different financial needs, different amounts of time that they can actually work, meaning that every photographer should actually have different pricing. Now, there's definitely strategy to how to figure out what to charge. So let's say you pay yourself $4,000 a month. Most photographers are able to pay themselves about a third of what their total revenue is, meaning that your business will need to bring in $12,000 to pay yourself 4,000. So if we're using our last example and you have time for seven clients, then that means that you would need to have a sales average of around $1,700 to make that $4,000. So you might be wondering how you consistently make $1,700 per session. That's where in-person sales and a really good price list comes in. Your sales after the session is what's going to help you create those consistent $1,700 sales. Hey, I'm interrupting this episode to mention my TLC pricing calculator. This calculator helps you go into every sales session with complete confidence in your pricing. It calculates what you need to charge. Seriously, you're never going to wonder again. You get instant access to the TLC photography pricing calculator and a six minute instructional video telling you exactly how to use it. This calculator is a life changer and you're gonna wanna add it to your arsenal. And if you're listening to this between November 23rd and November 27th, just know that my Black Friday sale is right now. So go to my website, tracylanecoaching.com and you'll get all the information about the Black Friday sale and how to get this TLC photography pricing calculator at 50% off. You are not gonna wanna miss it. Now back to the show. The third choice you need to make to build a profitable boudoir photography business is know who your ideal client actually is. This is something that I see so many photographers doing wrong and I understand why. Trying to figure out who your ideal client is, well, it's not the most fun activity, especially if you're earlier in business and just trying to get clients through your doors. I've heard of educators in the boudoir photography industry say any client is your ideal client. I think that's the worst piece of advice and the furthest thing from the truth. To be honest, thinking that your ideal client is any woman, that overwhelms me so much. That means I would have to build a marketing strategy to bring in so many different types of clients. And remember, when you're speaking to everyone, you're actually speaking to no one. So when I moved to St. Louis, I knew that I wanted the path of least resistance. I wanted to book clients in the easiest way possible, and I wanted those clients who already know that they wanted albums. I didn't want to have to talk them into booking and spending money, and that's why I chose brides, women who are 25 to 40 who wanted to purchase an album, but at the same time, I also chose a specific type of bride as well. I wanted women who were nurses, healthcare workers, teachers. I wanted the women who spent time taking care of other people so that they would be happy to let me take care of them during the session. The best part though, because they were brides, they already knew that they wanted an album as a gift for their wedding day. So I had to spend even less time educating them on what I wanted them to purchase after the session. And what was so cool about the clients that I was attracting, they were very, very similar. They brought the same purses to the studio, they wore the same outfits, and they spent similar amounts of money. I wanted to attract the person I wanted to photograph because I knew this person was the ideal client for me. So can you see how important that ideal client is now? Now, the fourth choice that you need to make to build a profitable boudoir photography business is know how to build a marketing strategy that actually attracts your ideal client. Now that we know who your ideal client is, what we need to do is build a marketing strategy to attract her like crazy. And the best way that I've found to do this is to build a website that easily converts leads into clients. Any lead that lands on your website should be able to easily figure out if you're the photographer for her. And once she does know that, then she's gonna do one of three things. Either go ahead and book a session or contact you to inquire about a session, depending on whether you want her to book immediately or just contact you to book, that's up to you. Or they'll join your email list where you can nurture her into becoming an amazing client. If she isn't the right client for you, she's gonna know immediately after landing on your website and she'll go ahead and leave. Any of those options are totally fine. So once you have the website up, your job gets so much easier. All you need to do is drive traffic to your website because you know that your website is gonna do the work for you of actually getting the bookings on your schedule. 
So driving traffic can look many different ways. It depends on who your ideal client is. Some ideas for driving traffic to your website would be blogs and SEO for search engine 